Howdy, miss. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. <sighs> Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no, uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well, take care then. Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I, I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven. <coughs> My apologies, mister.
Let's go! I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarland wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarland! This is a nice girl you got there. <laughs> Get down from there! You know... Part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Old government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Right. Let's go get Miss McFarland back. Go. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in cheap clothing, all of them. Rob you then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. Hurry up, Marston. We gotta get to Bonnie. Why's this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson's right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand boy. Wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill's standards have slipped. We already filled you with late once. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Mr. McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted, 
It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. That was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. Whoa. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarlands, Marston. They saved my life. They gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable, different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson in the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business either. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Pinning an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules. But they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. If your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. What I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quicks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. The problem with laws is everybody ain't the same. Why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East? You think you're a man, do you? Yeah. I can't wait for you to meet the boy. Come on, boys! Over the bridge! <laughs> Easy there. John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Lead Deke into town. We'll be right behind you. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She been fucked so good. Why don't you save some of that breath from breathing? Get these ropes off me, boys! Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Oh,
Get away from her! You ain't nothing but a bunch of women! I won't let you die, buddy! Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> <coughs> Someone might as well have this. Looks as wild as a horn in the veil. Good luck to you, son. He's a wild one, and no mistake.
fun riding. That was fast work, son. Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help, me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? Look at me! Look! Scrambling around, looking for maps half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never! Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. Sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self-same. Well. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Come on, then, partner.
How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care, none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talked to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rough. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that hand looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a raging fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good readers to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. Just darkness. I want to see the sunshine again. Whoa, there. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. This is one god awful assassin. Don't you lay your finger on them horses, mister. Come on!
Let's go! Job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh my god, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! You ain't that damn law! Get away from me! What's this got to do with you? Seth lost his mind a long time ago. Now you're coming with me. You must be stupid trusting that crazy bastard. Go! You son of a bitch, let me go! You just wait till I get loose, mister. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisty little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah! Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide man's ah, flesh. Ain't ah, never come to a live ah, one before. <laughs> uh, uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It, it, it's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on, we can pay it off in the telegraph office. Uh. Uh. Hurry up, I need to go find that man. To that fella. Let's get this over with. The sheriff believes me. This letter says I'm a free man. This here is a fresh start. Don't do Come on. Foolish Just now. give him that pardon letter so we can get out of here. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister.
don't think you'll be wanting this no more, friend. Pleasure, ma'am. Let's go. 